Of all the many ways we have to tell stories in the architectural visualization community, why would we take the time to tell a construction story of our project? I'm Chris from Sea Welton Design, and I have a background in architectural visualization and rendering. And I do this every day in my career, but believe it or not, I actually work in the construction industry most of the time. Although it crosses over a lot in architecture and I take architectural projects on the side, my construction side of me has brought over several unique approaches to the architectural side that I found worthy of sharing. In this video, we're going to talk about what it is to make a construction story. Who is it for? What kind of industries are benefit from this? How is it done? How can we make this for ourselves? And several advantages and disadvantages that might come along with this in your case. It might not be for your client, but it might be for your next client. So a little bit of a history about this this topic. It's special to me because I started my YouTube career making tutorials on this, although technically not my very first video, but my first couple videos I had were focused heavily on this, utilizing Lumion to do 4D animations, telling construction stories in that way. So it's cool to be able to come back and approach this, but in a more broad sense. I'm not going to focus specifically on using Lumion. That's a tool I still use, but I'm not going to, to limit it to that. There's plenty of ways to tell a construction story just with SketchUp or whatever you're using. So another big reason why this topic's special to me is this is what started my career. Being able to have this skill set, having experimented with telling a construction story when not too many other people were, made me valuable and made me stand out and got me my job. And so now I work with McCarthy Building Companies and I utilize this on the construction side, doing construction specific things all of the time. I think one of the greatest advantages of telling a construction story in the architectural world is being able to drive more emotion into your storytelling. Often we tell our stories visually at one point in time just when the project's done. When realistically, this may be a, you know, a long duration. It could be a multi-year process in some large commercial or at least several long-awaited months for a future homeowner. And telling that whole story from the beginning to the end, it really helps build things up to that point. It's gonna make it that much more special when you reveal the completed project after showing some of the processes in between. If your client is a future homeowner, you know, just seeing the project being built, seeing the structure, seeing the things that they're going to be looking at in the next several months, that it drives that emotion and it helps helps bring you know their home to life. I think another little advantage too is in the architectural world, this might be a great opportunity to help justify some of your design decisions, some things that just can't be quite shown off in a completed building several decisions that you had to make that are going to benefit the client in ways they may not be able to understand, especially through solid walls. Maybe you can show some really cool reasons why you did certain things in this animation and really sell the confidence in the clients. Thinking too, having a construction animation, having a unique approach could be an attractive thing for marketing. In a world of very similar, decent looking animations out there now. If you want to stand out, having something like this on, on your website, it kind of makes it 
look like you take a more holistic approach to your whole process where other architects only looking at the end product it might be a really cool flashy thing to show here at this art in this design firm we we take all of this into account we think of the whole process just a couple thoughts i have for the architectural world another industry i was thinking could really benefit from telling the construction story is developers imagine you have a real special project a, a publicly funded library a new beautiful one to go downtown named after a really influential person or or donor in the community now imagine that in order to create this beautiful new building because your clients the public it's going to affect them there's going to be some drawbacks there might be some lanes that need to be closed there might be some things that are going to be there's going to be extra traffic in this area but if you can kind of showcase all of this so the public understands that we're going to have to sacrifice this in order to get this new beautiful building i think it could really help sell the whole process and it really makes the end the end product that much more sweet telling the whole story the whole process being transparent and what it's going to take to for this community to build this beautiful new library in this case okay so logistically this could be pretty difficult to do on the residential side on the commercial side it's not uncommon to find structural models that are done for the structural engineer on on bigger buildings there's the building pieces you'd need or it's actually not very difficult to mock up a steel structure on some of these projects all projects are different but it's a lot more difficult on the residential side because people are typically not modeling structural elements into their sketchup models or their revit models even there's data in there to help estimate but there's not actual structure in there so you have to take the time to actually add those elements but i'm going to go over a couple projects of mine where i was actually provided a model and so it's kind of i'm kind of spoiled in that case but i have had to do it myself and it, it is some extra time so that's where you gotta determine if it's worth it but i do want to share that it has been worth it in my case i had a project that i'm showcasing here this is this is one that john brock my friend who modeled this whole structure he provided me that sketchup model and i was able to break it up and animate it here in lumion and telling the construction story in this case really hit an emotional impact here almost in a spiritual way so we show the building all coming up together and all the pieces and phases until we get pretty you know the landscapes coming down until we get a, a completed building so it's like this shell it's just it's a it's a structure but this is someone's future home and so what i decided to do which was just kind of just one of those afterthoughts that turned out to be really powerful and impactful was i showed the car coming in with the headlights on there's the client coming to their home for the first time and then the lights turn off and the building comes to life it's now not just a house it's a home and i've seen i've utilized this kind of animation a couple times and it's it's been impactful so sometimes it's worth it on another note this isn't the only way to tell a construction story you don't necessarily need to have a structural model to tell a construction story one example I'm thinking of is in Lumion 10's release video, they had a cool little element at the end, which I'm showing here. And here they just decided to add little bits of elements in case it was a landscape, it was a couple little features here, um, finish details. And it actually impressed me and helped me realize myself that you don't need all of the details to tell a construction story. Sometimes it's just a way you can showcase, you can tell the story yourself and showcase it in a more simplistic way that doesn't add tons more hours. So it's pretty open here. It's going to depend on your project, your capability, but it is possible. And that's kind of the logistics of this on the residential side. And there's plenty of commercial projects that may not have access to models too. So that's the tricky part. There's a lot of work that might need to come into it. It's not just the same model you have now, but it might be worth it in your case 
for that extra emotional, imp emotional impact. Maybe you don't have to spend all that time modeling, mocking up the stores and all the other buildings around it and focus more on this. And it's all about managing that time. So finishing off the house section here, I'm gonna talk about software. What does it take? Now before, before I use Lumion, I, I showcased where to click, what to do to make a 4D construction animation to tell the construction story in Lumion. Here I'm just gonna say, your medium may vary. It's whatever you're comfortable with or whatever lets you tell the story you wanna tell. I still like using Lumion. I still think it's really fast. There's plenty of other really cool softwares out there too that can look pretty good. You can do something really quick in Enscape. Twin Motion's out there. Unreal Engine opens a whole new set of possibilities. And sometimes we could just keep it inside our modeling software. Uh, some one of the coolest construction animations I've seen is done just in SketchUp, actually with John Brock. So I'm going to share that right here, where he's just utilizing SketchUp and some uh, clip planes here. It's a tricky method I've done before. It, it, it takes a lot of time, but he's not even gonna have to render here, and it's impressive enough. And then we could talk about the Lumion 10 trailer, how it's just popping things in. It's up to you. There's, I'm not going to advocate of any specific software here. It's what you know and what you think you can utilize to be creative and to tell these type of stories. Don't limit yourself to one specific type of software. But Lumion is what I still use. <laughs> so now I've gone over a lot of things that I wanted to cover about who, what, where, when, why of the construction animation. And I just want to talk about some stories of my experiences. Uh, I can't leave out my first experience with a 4D construction story that was done um, by 3D Cordoba, an incredible Lumion user since the beginning. They continue to make great content. Um, I'm going to just share a link to that video in the description here. Um, but this was an incredible story that went with music. It was, I think it was a, th a, f a thesis project. And the way they told the story inspired me they showed the process of the building coming together that i remember the trusses coming down to go with the music i i it it inspired me it it made me want to try that after covering several of the things i wanted to share in this video i thought this would be a good opportunity to just showcase and go over some of the projects i've actually experienced before so let's start with this project here it's my first project I did for a construction company that were, that asked for us to attempt to do this, this type of construction animation at a school. And I had never done anything like this. In fact, I had used Lumion for maybe a month before I got into this and I tried it out. I became a pretty good user after that. It was a, it was a rough course and you can kind of see in some of the animations here, some things aren't very smooth. but. The overall project was definitely a success and it actually it, it impacted the emotional way just like I wanted. I actually really liked the soundtrack I picked out when I listened to it. I, I remember that feeling of you know completing this project and seeing everything come together and it really impacted the client as well. They they won that project and it's probably done now here down in LA. That was a really cool, awesome example. That's my first one. And honestly, that that's the project that I showed off to uh, my current employer that got them interested in me, along with several others. And I still get people commenting on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back again to this project here. Because this project was actually my first attempt at residential construction animation. I was given the model with John Brock was a friend of mine and I was like hey can I just try this model and try animate it in Lumion like I do for commercial projects and so we worked together and um, put this project together the architect I got his interest that's Larry Belk who actually designed this project that John was working with and in this in this case even though I had all of the structural elements, it was still a big learning process, just learning how to organize all of these pieces and bring them into Lumion and, you know, in, in a simplistic manner. 
and I just landed on this method of just using advanced move in this case to just pull these pieces together, build it phase by phase, and then drop in all of all of the landscaping. But that emotional impact in the end, that was just a spur of the moment that really uh, I've utilized that many times now because of how effective that was here. It was just an experiment. It was just an experiment project. and. It's still one of my favorite ones I've put together, especially having the mountains in the background. That was pretty cool. It's actually a, a, a Salt Lake Valley behind it. I just needed somewhere with a lot of mountains to look dramatic, and it worked well here. So moving on to my next project that I attempted here, I used this project to sell another client. A new client, uh, Mabry Custom Homes, that I work with a lot still. Um, I sold them on making a, a construction animation as well as an interior and exterior full-on animation. So in this case, I had a Revit model and no structure. I thought this would be really simple because there was a lot of people out there at, at the Revit technology um, conferences that I'd gone to that said they can produce, generate structure for residential projects through a, their plugin and so I tried them all and they none of them seemed to work even though I was, I was just trying them out for free none of them worked and in the end I just had to model this thing using uh, SketchUp just mocked up some studs and some headers used a little bit little that I knew and, and you know it worked I was able to put this together I think actually the roof worked but the walls didn't so I had to put the time in myself but I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out. Made this project super heavy, having a duplicate, you know, doing a full interior, exterior animation and 4D made, it really made it heavy. So that, that was a lot of work. And I think it paid off well. And I didn't have the car in this case come in. I just came across to those gates and opened them. And it was a similar effect of that light, you know, bringing the, the project to life. Now this last one I look at here is, um, is another one I did with John Brock. Time he modeled everything for me. We experimented on this one together. It's just a beautiful home. And we tried a little more intricate approach than the first one. And um, I never ended up being able to finish this project. It, it kind of got canceled halfway through, but it was a really cool one. It was in Portland, I showed the mountains. I got Mount, Mount Hood in the background um, and turned into you know, really, you know, pr really pretty home. It really came together pretty well. Unfortunately, that one never actually left the shelf, so I thought I'd share it here. So this brings us to the conclusion of this video. Hopefully, this video has opened opened the possibilities in, in the vision of a construction story not being limited only to a construction company. Now, this might be a useful tool for you. Another option, that might be worth it when the time comes, when you really want a new additional way to drive emotion into your storytelling, to tell these, these stories visually that leave more impact than what you've been traditionally been doing. Hopefully it's another option, can increase the value of your work and make you stand out more and open more opportunities. So with that, I'm Chris from Sea Wealth and Design and thank you for watching this video. For those of you familiar with my previous content, this is a new approach that I would like to, to take on, to tell stories. And so we tried to do a more open approach to just telling the stories and experiences that I've had with different topics, starting with construction, and many more to come. So I'd feel free to, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment on what you think. And a lot more videos are coming in this fashion. Try to up the quality and condense some more this information and valuable details that I can share with you guys. With that, thank you for watching. Until next time.